All right, here we go again. We got a pork shell on. There's some assorted pork chops we got on sale for really cheap. And these are racks that I've got a wrap that I just got through cutting. This is all pork. Pork, 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 and more pork, as you can see here. <laughs> the bandsaw that I cut it on, you can see it gets pretty nasty in here. It's a little loud, makes a mess. Mmm, yummy. Oh, and another rack that I've got a wrap that I just got through cutting. <laughs> Combo packs, trimmings from the beef cutting today. Fun stuff. We turn that into hamburger later on. And this is where we keep the meat. It's already cut and wrapped and put up. There's lots and lots of this stuff, man. It's an everyday thing. These racks get emptied two or three times a day and we refill them. Busy store. Always plenty to do. Always. Cleanup man's running late. He should have already been here. He called and said he was going to be late, so I'm kind of stuck here by myself for a little while trying to do everything. This is the wrapping machine right here. We're lucky we actually have one. Not too bad, not too bad. Goes through it, wraps it, spits it out over here, labels it, drops it in the pan to work in the shell. And we got the old style over there too. Got a hand wrap, which I'm good at. It's not too bad. I've come from many stores that that's the only thing we had. So the auto wrapper's nice. Anyway, that's a quick little more in-depth tour. Not quite as fast as the last one, the first one. I'll cover some more whenever I get a chance. Hope you're enjoying my videos. Thanks for looking.